No one has passed this path without experiencing an itch. In life, when we move, depending on the direction we face, we could gain or we could lose. Which means, in life, we gain and we lose. We celebrate when we gain and we become sad when we lose. And that is only if we live to witness, test, or experience it. The truth is, losses cannot be separated from life. It could be mild or huge, fatal or just a close shave. Welcome to this week's Life Talk, wonderful people. I remain your host, Nkiru O. Mmm, losses. The milder, the better. The bigger, the more devastating. Some recover if their lives are not taken. Some will need help along the line. Some never make it back to normal. Some never make it back here. Hence, such human beings cannot talk about losses. Everywhere we turn, there are losses. The magnitude differs. A woman was bathed in hot liquid, sustaining third degree burns. Her life was bright and promising. Now she could need help to walk through the rest of her days on earth. Imagine the kind of losses she incurred. Dreams are gone. Everything was going beautifully well until fire gutted some mega shops. With no health insurance comes massive debts. This is a return to the very beginning. Some managed to make it back. Some just could not. Or what about that promising young man who just got married, got involved in an accident, lost both legs? Losses. They could be in materials. Losses can be physical, economic, or even spiritual. There are losses in life. How does one recover? This is a tough, complex question. But again, it depends on what constitutes the losses. The answer could be as simple as just moving on, granted a, a good life. Or could be wiped off at one point or the other. Dealing with significant loss can be one of the most difficult times in a person's life. Michelle Carsten, Senior Director at the Office of Work, Life and Engagement at John Hopkins, recommends the need to embrace the pain and explore the grief. This could be the time in the life of many when they could try to find solace in risky behaviors including impulsive shopping, smoking, drinking, or even faking to be okay. Constant advises it is better to acknowledge and grieve the losses. Michael Norton, a professor at Harvard Business School, suggests embracing a unique behavior that honors what or who is lost in order to help one heal. Creating a habit that helps the griever to create a sense of connection will help the person to heal better than reinforcing the feeling of loss. We know it could be difficult to cope or adjust thereafter. One thing is certain, loss is an inevitable part of our journey through life. It varies. Its dimension can be diversified. We must remind ourselves that losses exist. And like the Boy Scout motto says, be prepared. Being prepared, however, does not mean we must stock up the house with stuff, both what we need and what we don't need. 
Simple life insurance. Insuring things that are vital to us in an honest environment could help limit the impact of a loss. Experts have found that expecting change can be helpful. Adjusting our expectations helps us to cope with change as we get older. Findings by some British researchers among young adults and retirees shows that adults who underestimated the likelihood of negative events in their life are unhappier. Anticipating some degree of change in life may help scale our expectations and improve our capacity to cope. Thanks for watching. Your comments on this topic is essential to learning and our understanding. Remember to subscribe if you haven't done so. Until next week, this is Nkiru O wishing you the best through life. Cheers and stay blessed. Bye-bye.